The Department of Medical Assistance Services would like to welcome you to the March 2024 Consumer Directed Services Quarterly Update. Our goal is to provide updated information for CD personal care attendants that provide services to Medicaid members. In this training, we will discuss frequently used terms, what is personal care, electronic visit verification or EVV, legally responsible individual or LRI information, and provide you with some resources. Here are some frequently used terms referenced in this training. Activities of daily living or ADLs, our personal care tasks such as bathing, dressing, toileting, transferring, and eating or feeding. Employer of record, or EOR, is the person who performs the function of the employer in the consumer-directed model. Instrumental activities of daily living, or IADLs. These are tasks designed to assist the Medicaid member with independent living activities such as meal preparation, shopping, housekeeping, laundry, and money management. Legally Responsible Individual, or LRI, is the spouse of a Medicaid member or parent, step-parent, or legal guardian of a Medicaid member under 18 years old. Member, this is the person receiving Medicaid waiver services and supports. Personal care attendant or aide. This is the person hired to provide direct care or supports. So what is personal care? Personal care services means a range of support services necessary to enable the waiver member to remain at or return home rather than enter a nursing facility. And that includes, but is not limited to, assistance with activities of daily living, instrumental activities of daily living, access to the community, self-administration of medication or other medical needs, and monitoring of health status and physical condition. Personal care services do not include skilled services like tracheostomy or gastrostomy care. Our shared task is to enable the Medicaid member to work towards achieving their own goals. Therefore, personal care services are meant to provide the member with proper support, both at home and in the community. Let's discuss some electronic visit verification or EVV key points to remember. As a reminder, EVV is required any time an attendant provides personal care, respite care, and companion care services. Attendants are required to clock in and clock out each shift using one of the approved methods below. A smartphone mobile application or an interactive voice response or IVR system. Attendants who live with the member are exempt from EVV requirements and may use the web portal for time entry. The web portal is not an approved method for attendants who do not live with the member. Manual time entries will be monitored by DMAS and the managed care organizations or MCOs. Failure to comply with the program requirements could result in removal from the consumer-directed program. We will now provide an important Legally Responsible Individual, or LRI, update. The General Assembly passed a measure to permanently allow parents of minor children and spouses to be reimbursed for personal care services. These caregivers are called Legally Responsible Individuals. Effective March 1, 2024, all current LRIs may continue to provide services and be reimbursed for up to 40 hours per work week. 
if there is a paid LRI, respite care will no longer be available. As a reminder, LRI attendance can only be paid to provide personal care services. This applies to personal care services provided through the CCC Plus waiver, the Family and Individual Supports waiver, and the Community Living waiver. This information does not apply to parents and spouses of individuals in the EPSDT program. Here are some LRI guidelines. LRIs may be reimbursed for providing personal care services for up to 40 hours per week. They are exempt from using EVV if they live with a Medicaid member. They may not be reimbursed for respite care services. If a paid LRI attendant uses respite care services, those hours will be subject to repayment. You can find resources like Frequently Asked Questions and all recent LRI updates on the DMAS website listed here. For additional questions related to this training, please feel free to email us at cdattendantinfo at dmas.virginia.gov. As always, we would like to thank you for your continued support of our Medicaid members.